Hey, it's Janelle here from Dog Matters. And the other day I put up a post of Lola going to Bunnings. So for those of you that don't know, Bunnings is a big warehouse uh, for outdoor home and garden wear and things like that in Australia. And in Australia, there's not a lot of places that we can take our dogs into stores, um, as opposed to some countries where you can take your dog pretty much anywhere. Here it's pretty rare. So when Bunnings announced uh, in the last couple of years that people can take their dogs to the stores, people were very excited and everyone started to take their dogs. Well, within a few weeks, they had their first incident where a small dog tried to bite someone, maybe actually bit them. Um, not sure of all the details right now, but there was an incident. And so Bunnings uh, swiftly brought in a policy about dogs where they can come into the store, but they have to either be in the trolley or be on a muzzle. So when I asked on the page the other day, do you take your dogs to Bunnings as well? We had a lot of people comment saying whether they did or didn't, but I was really surprised at how many people were very upset that if they did take their dog, they would have to use a muzzle. And some have said that they had stopped going because if they went, they would have to muzzle their dogs. So it got me thinking, why are people so worried about using a muzzle on their dog? Um, I really think that it's the human under the leash that is more upset by this and putting human emotions to it. And like any tool, it's all in how you use it. And the meaning of that tool is the meaning that you make for it, for both yourself and for the dog. Like so many things in life, we can choose the meaning of things. Now, this is the type of muzzle that I generally recommend. It's a Baskerville muzzle. And I will say that there are some muzzles that are better than others. And I did see a dog in Bunnings that it was a very hot day and they had a husher type muzzle on which is like a strap wrapped around it was way too tight and the dog was having trouble panting that is bad because that's a health risk to the dog but these are very um, airy there's lots of airflow the dog can open their mouth to pants the dog can still drink water and the dog can still take treats which is great because we can use that to help train them to even enjoy having a muzzle on or at least be fine with it and comfortable with it because they're used to it. So this isn't just about being able to take your dogs to Bunnings though. We did have one person in the comments say that they use Bunnings as a great opportunity to practice their muzzle training and that's what I really like to see because there is a benefit for any dog learning to have a muzzle on. One, a great trust exercise and another part of training and conditioning of getting used to human handling and things happening in this world that we live in that are not always comfortable and two if you ever need to have your dog looked at by a vet and they're in any pain pain can make a dog uh, swing around to bite someone even if they're not usually an aggressive dog and so it just makes everyone a lot safer and imagine if you had to do that and your dog had never worn a muzzle before and wasn't used to it then that could make it even more stressful for them but if they're used to it it's not going to be a big deal and it's one less thing that you have to worry about bothering your dog. So the key is we want to uh, help the dog to see that this is just fine. Now, why do people feel so strongly about muzzles? I think some people are worried about what other people think and that they're going to assume their dog's aggressive, which is not the case. There's many reasons that you would want to practice muzzle training a dog like we just covered. And I also think that a lot of people have an emotional feeling about the muzzle from like the movie Lady and the Tramp where Lady, the beautiful little cocker spaniel, was falsely accused of showing aggression and being dangerous to the new baby. So they muzzled her and tied her up. She felt very, very sad because it's a Disney movie and the dogs are all humanized. She escaped and had to go and find someone to get the horrible muzzle off her face and it was very, very upsetting to Lady and I think that um, is the general attitude towards muzzles but it's all in how you use it and it doesn't have to be that way. So let's have a look at uh, how Envy responds to the muzzle and just to show you that she's okay with it. So if it was the first time you were using a muzzle with your dog, you would basically cup your hand underneath and be able to put treats in, treats in there and start out by feeding the dog out of the muzzle. But Envy knows this, I don't have any treats on me right now, so I just wanna show you that she's okay with it um, and what it's like when a dog has a muzzle on and that it can just be another part of life. Envy here. 
person. So I also have taught her to willingly be able to put her face in the muzzle as well. Muzzle. Good girl. So you can see she knows to voluntarily do that. We then do up the strap at the back and put the clip over. And if you do have a dog that is any risk, you will also strap this onto a collar for more security. Good job. Look. All back. Good, good, good. Good. Sit. Good. Down. Here. Yes. Walk. Place. Good girl. Now, of course, a muzzle is a training tool. It's not something that we would put on and leave on for you know, the whole day or any unsupervised time. So it, again, it's about appropriate use. All right, so you can see she's not majorly stressed. She's not too worried about it. This is just something that we do sometimes and that's the kind of non-event that you want your muzzle training to result in. Just like putting different collars and harnesses on and off. It's just another piece of equipment. It's no big deal. You can see that she can just chill and relax there and she's not freaking out about it. Uh, so I suggest that you work on this with your dog and instead of uh, feeling bad that you might have to put a muzzle on to go to Bunnings, flip it around, use it as an opportunity to practice your muzzle training and once your dog's used to the muzzle and you can take them there, then it's another place that you can take them for their training and exposure and socialization so it's all good. Let me know in the comments how your dog's going with their muzzle training and how it's helped you and I'll see you in the next video. Good girl! Free! Yay! This way! Yay! Good girl!